Well, first of all, I've got this new split screen. I hope you like it. I got that from CapCut from Tutorial on YouTube. Now, here we go. This is games about three and 10 minutes slot, 10 minutes, 30, 10 minutes, 11 minutes sort of thing. Uh, where I'm playing in the autumn marathon from Lee Chess, which would make it spring for us in New Zealand and this is uh, played in 2021 I can only do so much of that sort of thing and so anyway here is this small session uh, even though it's sort of special because it is Easter of course so that's quite good so here we go I've got um a pawn on e6 and so it looks like this should be pretty home and hosed we go to rook f7 and that is threatening of course rook e7 or queen e7 but I didn't I chickened out if there's such a thing I'm looking at that um, that d pawn but I've run away from it I've got to develop because uh, my opponent is a little bit ahead in development even though we've played quite a many mean member of moves but the thing is is that now um, I have to say that I'm in berserk mode in uh, at least two of these three games and so why I bring you this game is is because it goes right down to the wire on my time and my opponent at the very end resigns and uh, I don't know if I would have done that. Well, I probably wouldn't have done that, actually. So, but my opponent resigns. And so, here we go. This is this game. So, my opponent's playing quite well. So, what do I do? I don't know. Just lose, really. I'm just kind of... I'm a pawn up, but it's, it's a big, hard job here to... to um, do something with my extra pawn, especially when my opponent's got two minutes more than me. They have to play their moves. And I don't think it's increments, is it increments? Yes, it is. It's three and two second increments. So there you go, that's even more of a problem for me. So here comes the queen, she's coming in to infiltrate, and I played a3, and here comes queen d1 check. Queen f1 defending, but of course got to defend my bishop c1. And I'm hovering around to make my next move. I've got 24 seconds left. And black's got 222. So queen c2 hovering around just to be a menace, just like I say. To be a, a swarm. To be a swarm, so it's all or nothing here. I've just gone queen f5, sacrificing my bishop c1, and my opponent takes the bait. I don't know if it is bait. And here comes knight f5, which is not bad, but I don't think I'm doing anything really spectacular here. But um, it's a sort of a long term sacrifice, if you forgive me for saying. So here's queen d7, and then I threaten queen to g7 check. And also queen takes bishop uh, pawn liftoff. So white has met, black has obliged by doing what white wanted them to do. But here we've got 5.7 seconds, 4, 3.2, 2.3, 3, 3. So we've lost a whole second and I'm down to the wire. Okay, now I take the queen and my opponent here resigns, I think, soon. Just resigns. I'm just doing pre-moves, but look at my clock. It's 1.1 second, watch my clock. Okay, my opponent resigned. I think my opponent was quite um, nice to do that for me. So I was quite surprised and I thought, I'd like to bring that to your attention just to show you that this is the first hour I think of play, yes, the first half hour or so, so that's why I'm playing, just a few games. 
you stay too long with these things, you end up playing the big guns. <laughs> you know, who wants to play them? The grandmasters and all that. I mean, like, yeah, they're okay, but you know, they just sort of can put you off chess. So here's D, E5, oh, Bishop E5, I take this, take this, check. This is a bit of a waiting game, this one. It's not too bad. Uh, I'm going to have a look at accidentally hit that. Here's Queen B3. I can actually play Knight D2, by the way. I missed knight d2 winning the exchange so that's a bit annoying now I don't play bishop e6 I play queen b6 so that I'm threatening queen f2 check as long as my knight's on e4 and the rook's not on f1 and or as long as black doesn't um, I've just offered a draw I think my opponent is quite high my opponent's um, 2-3 or something. I think uh, my opponent might accept a draw. And so we have draw off assent and mutual agreement draw. So it's a bit sort of wussy, isn't it? A little bit sort of not very good Kiwi grit there, is it? And uh, here we go, we keep on going. So I hope your Easter has or is going very well. Here we've got the third game. And if you have a look on the left, you will see underneath the time for the tournament. I've just gone berserk mode. My opponent is streaming. I've got a, an account for streaming too, but I didn't stream in this. So my opponent is 1900 and something and is streaming at the moment. So play C6, I'll lock up my uh, I'll lock up my queen side so G6. I, I sort of lock it up but I've got intentions of moving this. So I think my opponent played quite well actually. I think I played bishop A6 now. I just want to develop, get my pieces out so that they're on reasonably active squares and uh, I want to nibble things as I go if I can. So there are some ways to go here forward for black uh, but remind those that are watching I'm in berserk mode so I've got to be careful for my time especially because that's just as hard to, it's just as easy to lose chess because of my flag. So I could just play knight e4, I mean knight b3. Here I'm just maybe going to um, contest the d file and swap off the rook, but my opponent has other ideas. I think I play c5 here. So I've got 45 seconds, 44. That's the thing. You don't want a running commentary, do you? No. Of course not. Bishop B2, just a wee tactical trick to win the um, rook for Bishop. And, and I still have to hurry up. So that prevents my queen e5 move. I was actually getting ready to play queen e5. So I'm just with, withdrawing the troops and at the moment sort of thing. Uh, I just want to... Um, I don't want to open up the, the diagonal for the bishop, but white does. And here's a queen swap. So I'm going to give up the pawns or the pawn sort of thing. I know it's not very good, is it? Because I, I should be looking after my pawns, especially the f5 and e4 pawn. How you can tell I'm not cheating is that um, I play f5, I move three. <laughs> and so any computer looking at that will go, oh no, what's that for? Rook h7, rook h3, king up. Now I just motor my king in, watching out for those knight forks which are very very good here I liquidate with the move uh, 
rook b3 check and therefore secure a sort of a almost a, a, a winning position even though I don't want it exactly quickly now if I don't watch it I'm going to stalemate my opponent I know that see I have just about did it <laughs> and now I just march my my b pawn and I just go I've got to hurry up because otherwise I just lose okay <laughs> bit wobbly isn't it and that's checkmate I hope you like this session and uh, I brought it all to you from Christchurch New Zealand and so all the best with your chest no matter where it's at and primarily enjoy thank you